Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you're here to join me today. I got a message from one of my followers saying that at 4.45 a.m. this morning, there in Southern California, they saw this bright yellow fireball that was awesome. Well, last night, and it will continue until, you know, probably several days from now, we are going through what's called the peak of the Southern Torrid's Meteor Shower. Now, the uh, Southern Torrid's Meteor Shower is normally not very significant in how many uh, fireballs or meteors you see, but it seems like every seven years there is an increase, and that increase just happens to fall this year. They have other reports here on AMS. Let's see, we got it in two time zones. Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, and Tennessee. That was last night also. California, Nevada, and Oregon. 68 reports there. And uh, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia. 20 reports there. Florida and Georgia. 20 reports there. There's a video on Twitter. I'll share the link with you down below in the uh, information box. Um, from a ring doorbell of a meteor. Here's one clip of it. And another when it brightened up and seemed to, uh, yeah, just go kaboom. NASA calls this time of the year for these, uh, meteors the Halloween meteor shower because it's so close to Halloween that just passed by a few days ago. The last time there was a peak was in 2015. Now, they are saying the number was to peak last night, but then a second peak is expected around November 12th. They are saying between now and then, there could be a few stragglers that you will see. The moon is set to set um, sometime after 4 a.m. And so, the ultimately, the best time to view these meteors is between about 4.15 and dawn. Now, on AMS, there was 10 reports sent in to them of seeing fireballs. I thought this one was cute. Uh, this one came from Oxnard, California. Said it was cool. Never seen in my home county before. Um, I got excited. Now, I want to uh, rock on. LOL. Hope I could get some photos. It was partially cloudy, maybe. Um, the satellites. Um, log us in the aliens are here. Tracy in Placerville, California said that she saw one. It was light blue, green, light green, yellow, light yellow, and white. There was another report from Folsom, California, and they said the color was white. Ellie from Nevada, California. Well, she saw one, too, and said it was green and light green. Hannah from Lone Pine, California, um, saw it, and they said it was light blue and green. No sound. Let me show you the map of the different locations that did send in reports. But we know there was more because I got that one report from Southern California um, that was sent in to me. And that's the one there. I'm not saying that's the one on my um, YouTube account. But um, yeah, that's really cool. This one that was reported to AMS said it was probably going uh, northwest. You can see the arrow there. Um, why these might be exciting is because they are supposed to be larger than the usual meters. So they would look like large fireballs. There was another Twitter post. I believe this is um, Interstate 45 or I-45, something like that. And you can see it right there. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. There was another post from Redding, California of a fireball. There it is. Yeah, kaboom. Uh, here's the reports, the 68 reports from California, Nevada, and Oregon. Um, 2.26 universal time, so that would have been 7.26 local time. And Robin 
who is in Fort Jones, California, said the earth shook from the explosion. A good rumble was felt. The sky is still clear with ripples emanating from the explosion. Jaden from Ashland, Oregon, said the fireball was like orangish color, but lit the whole sky green with the sound of small firework followed after the fireball was heading down south from where I was at. Jaden also said the flash lit the whole sky green. Justin from Eureka, California said that uh, it was blue in color and that um, it lit up the whole sky very bright and there was a booming sound. Where did I see it? Lots of booms it says here. For Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Here's the reports from the East Coast. Now, Cheryl from Maryland said there was a static sound. And it was orange, yellow, and red. Slightly staticky noise. Very brief. Duran from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? They said the color was orange, yellow, red, and white. There was five reports that came from Georgia and Florida. This one here from Owen in Tallahassee, Florida, said it reminded them of the big one in Russia around two years ago that lit up the whole sky bright blue, except much smaller explosion or flash, and didn't take up much space in the sky. Another report from Lady Lake, Florida. This is from Will. Uh, they said it was light blue and light green. Do they have anything else? Mm, very bright, exploded into smaller fragments. Let's see which direction that one went from east to uh, slightly north uh, west. Another interesting report from Florida said, I saw it move across the sky, then it looked like a bright orange fairy burst as it hit the atmosphere. Then a bigger and brighter white mass immediately after. Another report from Florida says there was actually a second meteor or space junk shortly afterwards, about five minutes apart. This one was almost exactly like the first as far as the direction and angle and duration. The main difference is that it was only about 20 degrees off the north horizon from my vantage. It was moving nearly parallel with the horizon while it was in my view. After three seconds seeing it, it went behind trees on the horizon. It came from due east, just like the first one. I never seen two meteors so big and so similar, so close together. With my limited knowledge, I bet it was um, space junk or something man-made given how similar and how close they were. Well, I don't know. There's no images um, posted on here. I wish there was. Another one from Medford, Oregon. You can see the time up there. This was last night. Yeah, wow. Very cool. So if you happen to see a meteor or a fireball, yeah, send in your reports to AMS, American Meteorological Society. And there's also a group in uh, Europe that keeps track of them. So did you see any last night? If so, please put your comments down below. I wish I did. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.